Um, I was wondering if you have any apprehension about uh, debris. Uh, debris is always a challenge. It's going to continue to be a challenge as long as we have foam on that tank. And uh, when we're not worried about the foam, we're also worried about ice forming. So these are always going to be concerns because unfortunately the vehicle was not really designed to go ahead and, and take the hits and we found that out with Columbia. Uh, I think we've made a lot of great strides since Columbia and we've shown that over the last three flights and the fact that after the first flight following Columbia they were able to go ahead and make some readjustments to what we thought was a fix and that so far it's looking good. But two flights doesn't mean that the problem is completely solved. The program knows that. They're still taking steps to analyze all the data and keep collecting data. Could you give, me, give us a sense of your confidence that you really can pull all this off? Certainly going to go into the thing uh, very optimistic and uh, you know we, we expect that everything's going to work just as advertised. At the same time we're prepared for everything not to work as advertised. Um, I, I don't have any kind of uh, feeling as to uh, how complicated or not it is, and, and I appreciate it, you know, how it's characterized. It, it's very, I, I, I don't really put it in terms of being complicated, I put it in terms of being unique. It's very unique in that we have a very fine uh, choreography between what we do on orbit with what's being done on the ground and the fact that a lot of what's being done on the ground with the commanding for the electrical system is done while we have two people outside during spacewalks. What is the thing you are most nervous for right now? Well, I, I think it's like probably most astronauts will tell you the same thing. You, you're most kind of nervous that you would do something maybe stupid or do some mistake, which could be very costly, and uh, you don't want to kind of look like a fool either. Uh, I don't think we are really nervous in the sense that something will go wrong and jeopardize our life or anything like that. That's kind of nothing particular. You coming out here today and uh, have a good test tomorrow. All right.